So uh, the ma- a question was like, uh, was this margin improvement only because of shutdown of stores? No. So the management says there has been some uh, cost initiatives which they have taken on both front and back end, and also they have uh, shut down the stores. And because of all those things, there has been uh, improvement. And quarter two for them is usually low margin, but they have maintained that margin even in quarter two. So that is a good sign, is what management is saying. So next person will ask, uh, like, oh, margin has improved, and is it because of lower cost of supplies, or uh, is it because you have stopped giving discounts and things like that? So the management says that during Q1 they had done some aggressive promotion by giving huge discounts, so that there will be some sales at least, and uh, because of the, but in quarter two they have discontinued that. Uh, and also there has been some softening of uh, raw material prices for them like uh, fish and uh, prawns have become little cheaper compared to previous times so they are saying that going forward they don't want to increase any price and uh, they also have some projects undergoing in terms of cost initiatives which they come in few which will be materialized in coming quarters but he says that the, they are pretty comfortable with the margins of around 66% uh, and gross margin is uh, around 66% is what they are hoping for so next question is one person will ask sir uh, this vegetarian days uh, it should impact both online and offline stores why has it impacted only online stores and also during uh, in the matured and non matured stores why is that ssg is negative while new stores did relatively well uh, so bar uh, the management says that uh, barbecue nation is more like a group kind of activity wherein many people come together though. so the average size is 5 uh, is what the management says and uh, during making the plan if one person <coughs> is uh, going back then they uh, most of them will change plans so that's why uh, they uh, prefer a la carte kind of consumption uh, during these times and on delivery uh, they he, they have said that uh, the base effect is very low and that's why they have seen pretty decent growth in uh, delivery uh, online delivery also so then one more person will ask like uh, if same store sales growth uh, is uh, how it is across different brands so the management says that toscano it is positive uh, a, ling- a lower single digit uh, for international business also same for barbecue nation it is negative overall and for online uh, delivery it is positive so basically they are saying that uh, and also they say uh, so basically north and west have done better than uh, south so then one person is actually he is uh, asking about how the revenues will look forward so basically he says that uh, 690 crore was overhead cost for this quarter that is uh, all this lease and other things um and uh, so giving a 4 to 5 percent uh, increase for next year it will be around 730 crore kind of number and uh, for coming next year how much would the growth be like for operating margin like should it be uh 10 percent 8 percent how much will be the operating overhead increase is what the question is so the management says that their inflationary numbers according to them will be around 3 to 4 percent that is for barbecue nation not for others like their cost might increase by 3 to 4 percent for the, the coming years is what they say and also if the company says that if there is very good sales in any store they also have this uh, sales linked uh, incentive which they give per outlet so that is also there but otherwise they say uh, in man terms and other things uh, that uh, the cost inflation for barbecue nation will not be more than three to four percent so then one person asks, like uh, you're opening more of other brands and not barbecue nation so have you lost confidence in barbecue nation brand uh, so management gives a very long and nice answer uh, so they say that uh, when they started five years uh, before starting any other brand it was like 97 percent of it was coming from barbecue nation like their revenues but now it is around 72 percent so this is a very conscious choice which they have made in last few years and uh, they so they are saying that they had few initial setbacks uh, due to covid and other things but uh, they are uh, keeping a decent target of 20% uh, growth on these new brands and they are also realistic that they can't expect 100% growth rate uh, so they are saying that it is upwards but they are expecting at least 20% and upwards uh, growth rate similarly for salt also they say that it is managed by one of the founders of Toscan only so it came as a natural extension and they are saying that in current avatar uh, also out of six salt 
four salt uh, four stores are actually correlated with Toscana so they are doing this consolidating opportunity as well uh, so basically they're taking synergy benefits and they want to take it to other places also like uh, it's as of now a Bangalore based uh, main uh, uh, themed uh, restaurant so they want to take it to other places also like all over India so they also say that uh, their business has been good uh, with the salt and the customer feedback is really good and pricing is also right so that's why they took this decision of acquiring the brand uh, on the other hand they have said that dumb suffer is one online brand uh, which is like they have been doing biryanis for past 17 years so that's why uh, they have started this dumb suffer and uh, it has an revenue of around 30 odd crores so they are seeing a lot of potential and they are planning to experiment with offline model as well and see how it goes so in nutshell they are saying that this is not because barbecue nation brand has come down but they are giving their response to current market dynamics like uh, uh, by doing this new brand so they're saying that barbecue nation can't be expanded aggressively so they're consolidating whereas others can grow consolidated uh, aggressively and uh, they are mainly concentrating now on increasing their margins and revenue uh, margins and uh, uh, rationalizing their uh, network uh, rather than bringing out more stores and making loss so then uh, they ask like how does uh, go see bar barbecue nation was full buffet kind of food but this is uh, uh, where there is standard operating procedures and other things but these are all little on the uh, different side of uh, their core fundamentals so how are they going to manage and will management need uh, some other people to come and help so the company says So then another person asks uh, if there are any acquisitions which you are doing for from medium to perspective or say two to three years from now. So they are saying they are evaluating a few but nothing has come to such a stage that they are ready to discuss with uh, analysts or investors. So then uh, online revenue mix what it is uh, is the question. So they say the management says it's 15 percent uh, and uh, store opening how many are they planning to open and which brands are they opening so for the next year so the management says they're planning to open 25 to 35 stores and it's very difficult to give the uh, split at this point of time but they say uh, barbecue international will be not more than three and remaining will be between all these other three so basically barbecue international is still being absorbed by customers so uh, it takes time for people to get used to it with the international cuisine that's why uh, they're taking uh, a little time off there then uh, the again the same question like why are they not uh, concentrating on barbecue nation or like why are they reducing reliance uh, so the management clearly says it again that they're they're trying to ad adjust to the demands of uh, customers and they're trying to diversify and keep the growth rate going so barbecue nation is already a 1000 crore plus revenue brand uh, so in medium to long term they are not planning to open any stores and uh, that doesn't mean that barbecue nation opportunity is dead uh, in their journey previously also they when they were at 70 outlets uh, they uh, the management says when they were at 70 outlets they had a period of so gro slow growth and then again obviously they had to like rationalize again and then they slowed down and then they got to levels of 200 in the over uh, next five years so this is that phase where they keep they're taking conscious decisions and uh, growing uh, with the expansion plans of barbecue nation uh, so what uh, is the kind of revenue mix that they're seeing from all these brands in coming years uh, is the question so management says that salt toscano and their barbecue nation international business they will be growing at upwards of 20 percent uh, and barbecue nation will be growing at a slower rate because of high base so that's why uh, that's what they say uh, but what they're clearly again and again saying is that their focus as of now is to improve margins that is their bottom line rather than increasing their revenues and which they're already seeing that their uh, margins have been held strong uh, in even in this week quarter their margins have they have maintained so that's what they're sticking on to and they're excited about this so this was the call and thank you